octopus to the face. It truly does sound like a nightmare, but I have to ask, did this vlogger deserve it? Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. I am Rebecca Felgate and I am popping in today to talk about octopuses or octopi, octopus on your eye. <laughs> I actually wrote in my script, lunge at camera like an octopus, so <laughs> you're welcome. I guess that's me being an octopus. That's right, an octopus got stuck on a vlogger's face as she was trying to eat it alive, and honestly, I think I could be here on the octopus's side. Before we get into the full drama and I show you a clip of the sucking in action, which you don't want to miss, I want to ask you guys what your favourite sea animal is. Mine is a dolphin, and, and actually now that I'm saying this, I realised I had a dream about a dolphin last night. I wonder what that means. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and do hit that thumbs up button. Fish don't have thumbs, which kind of, you know, is a crying shame for them, but we do, so let's celebrate it. Also, I'm super keen to turn the comments section into like an under the sea ocean bed drama, so why not add some fish emojis? Under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wet to take it from me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Get back to the video, Rebecca. I hear you. So a Chinese vlogger known as Seaside Girl Little Seven is popular on the Chinese video sharing platform Kuiushu. I probably didn't pronounce that right. Kuiushu. Kuiushu. Basically, if we simplified it, it is like a Chinese version of YouTube, or actually, maybe IGTV because things are shot in portrait. She is known for sharing coastal videos of herself and she can regularly be watched tucking into seafood, only this time, the seafood tucked into her. In one of her recent videos, she was preparing to eat an octopus alive. Now, I don't want to be culturally misguided or anything, but in my opinion, eating anything alive is basically a new level of savagery. Also, octopi are very intelligent, so they know what's happening, and I wouldn't want to know that I was being eaten alive. Ugh, this video's turned into a nightmare. Unfortunately for Little Seven, the octopus didn't fancy being eaten. It had a bit of an Aya Stark moment and was like, not today. It lunged straight on up in her face, and I think you guys need to see a little clip. Honestly, get ready because this is a nightmare. Honestly, it did not want you to eat it, babe. Just leave it alone. Nature, I have to say, I'm here for it. Now, apparently, she is saying in Chinese that it hurts. She pulls harder and harder to try and get it off her face and seriously pulls at her skin, making her look like a living nightmare. Have a watch. Her skin is so stretchy. Now she does manage to get it off her face and it appears that the little sucker has drawn blood, but considering she was about to stab it and eat it, I really don't think it caused that much damage to her. Nonetheless, this is how she reacted to the sight of the blood. Apparently, she was crying because she thought her face was disfigured. She later ended the video by saying that she will eat the octopus in her next vlog, and we do actually have some footage from that. Ugh, yeah, she's not looking so great, is she? It kind of looks like the octopus did get its final revenge. Oh well. I'm just joking, that's actually a clip from Alien, and if you haven't already seen that movie, you absolutely should. I feel like if Little Seven had seen it, then perhaps she wouldn't have tried messing with a face hugger. In reality though, Little Seven is absolutely fine, other than a little cut to the face. The octopus, well, she probably killed it. RIP friend, you put up a good fight. The vlogger absolutely owes her fishy adversary a huge thank you, whether or not she wants to admit it. She did go viral with its antics, and is that not the aim of the game for us social media folk? Although to be honest, I'm not sure that I'd want to be known as the girl that got owned by an octopus, and she really, really did. Do you know what? Octopi are some of the most intelligent creatures out there, and I don't know if I feel comfortable eating them. Paul the Psychic Octopus successfully predicted the outcome of eight matches in the 2010 World Cup. Oxy the octopus opened a jar in less than 60 seconds in New Zealand, making him a record breaker. And like, I can't even open jars with my own hands, and he's an octopus. In 2016, Inquisitive Inky escaped its aquarium, with workers describing him as exactly that, 
Inquisitive. Octopuses seem to have personalities, and I feel sad that we don't know the name of the Chinese octopus fighting face sucker. I'm gonna actually go out there and call her Ursula like the sea witch. You shall be remembered along with the great Ursula. Thank you for your service. Okay, that's that. What did you guys think to this story? Did the vlogger get what she deserved, or do you feel sorry for her? Do let me know in the comments section down below, and don't forget to let me know what your favourite ocean dweller is. Anyone here for crabs? Crabs, anyone? Crabs? Honestly, this whole thing has made me want to watch Ariel the Little Mermaid. And speaking of crabs, I was shocked when I found out that Sebastian wasn't a lobster and he's a crab. Who knew? Who knew? So I'm probably gonna go off and rewatch that movie, but before I do, I wanna read some comments out. Now I haven't done a video on IO in a while, so I'm reading out some comments from one of Charlotte's most recent videos. It was a joy to watch, but it did scare me. It was about Instagram removing likes. Fart Business said, Now teens will stop dying for the perfect Insta selfie. Good point, Fart Business. Thank you for your business, Fart Business. Garon Time said, surprisingly a lot of people are actually on board with this and many Canadian influencers also agree with this move. They agree that this will actually make people be more authentic and create better content and I agree. Since you can just go on your post and check your likes with an extra click, it really is not a big deal. If they follow through, this is going to be a great change. So I think that you make a really, really interesting point there. I'm definitely all for people being a lot more genuine on the platform and honestly, it shouldn't be a like off. You shouldn't judge your value and likes, but I have to say as a person that uses Instagram a lot, I do feel a little bit concerned because for me, it's just helpful to see how my followers are engaging with my content. I do know that I will still be able to see my own likes, but if likes are downplayed in general, then would someone actually go out of their way to leave a like? What's the point if you can't see them? So I guess my question is, will engagement go down? If so, that does kind of suck. But I do agree with the sentiment in some ways, we shouldn't be comparing ourselves with stats. Takashi Tatnal said, if you're a potato, how do you not get baked on a hot day? Well, be right back guys, I've got to go script a video for life space questions because that sounds like a good one. Potatoes. Good! Thank you guys for watching this video, please do leave a thumbs up and some fishy emojis, share this video with a friend, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and hopefully I'll be back to see you guys sometime soon. Bye!